Uh, you're a little quiet, but I can hear you. I need better. Yep, that's better. Alright. Uh, my stream should be live. Let's see if I can hop in there. <clears throat> Unless you're currently working on one, let's take a look at that uh, modular TOZ. Uh, I looked. I looked at that before. There really weren't that many options, tragically. But yeah, we can look at that after I'm finishing this. After I finish up this one, real quick. that uh what was it ash 17 or whatever iron sights it's like a little it was in there with the, the sights you were looking at yeah that's here yeah, that's a potentially useful little riser piece It's got a rear sight and elevated rail. Yeah, I guess it is. It's not quite as tall as a M M16 carrying on the side either. Yeah. It's a bit more generic looking. You could uh, hit it on more things. Put different stocks on the vector. Um, yeah, I got an adapter for AR15 stocks. And it folds. Ah, yes. There's also a SIG, uh, SIG stock adapter as well, but there aren't as many options there. Is there a wood one? Um, yeah, there. I could put the. Uh, I could put a couple of uh, AR15 wooden stocks on it. I'm not gonna do that here. <laughs> You can do that with a different gun if you want. Yeah. Put them in the 
use this 12. And every new gun I make, I try to put a different optic on it. Yeah. This is a decent way of seeing, you know, what all they are. Square. This is probably the most square looking side I've ever seen. I'm gonna dig it. And the vector's kinda square to begin with. Maybe you could just go for the blockiest possible. Make like a Minecraft vector. One thing I found oh. is that the is the uh I don't know if I've should I have mentioned this before, but the one of the uh, modular attachments is this uh adapter up front for AR-15 pistol grips, so you get a lot more uh, grip variety that way. It also, the, it, it fits the, uh, Yeah, I try to find one that has the lines. the same angle as, like, the magazine and the p pistol grip. Yes, that's clever. We'll go this way. Look how blocky that mount is. Maybe a little bit too small. Yeah, I'll just try to make a decision here. That's a little bit too dark colored. I don't think I've used any, I've used any EOTech sites yet. I'll go with this. I feel like that one comes up in games a lot. Yeah, it does. But I'm personally not a huge fan of like the ring outside the dot. Oh, uh, yeah. Like when it's bouncing around, it tends to obscure the target. Although, I guess that's not really much of a problem Problem on a weapon design for m minimal recoil. Yeah, that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't bounce around as much. Yeah, I think I'll roll with this. Put this on here and save it. There we go. Alright, what do you want to do? Let's grab... An Owen gun to start off. I just remembered that that was the thing I wanted to play with. Oh, wait a minute, hang on. There's one more thing I want. Oh. One more thing I gotta do first. That's awkward. I didn't save. What? I didn't save all my attachments. Crap. Well, anyway. I can show you. You got the sight and that's it. An underfolder actually fits on here if you clear if you take off the magazine. Oh that is kinda I do kinda like that. MP forty meets vector. Alright, I'll we'll fix that later. Alright, so Owen oh gun.
There's actually a few different options in here. Let me see. So there's st wire stock, wood stock, and then camo versions thereof. Looks like Rhodesian camo. Um. Does accept a detachable stock. Let's grab the uh, wire stock version. Uh, camo or no? No camo. Yeah, that's one. Th that's one thing this game can really use a, ca a camo system. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Now we need to get a rail onto the bottom. Your, your side is actually on the other side on the own gun. Yeah, it's on the right. Uh, stock is way... Stock is not nearly... Huh, well, that's a pretty, like, a pretty long length to pull, but it allows me to pull the sight way back into my face. Right. Let me try this one. Do a rail extension um, across the bottom, like a, just a long bar. Do you want to go underneath the foregrip, or uh, should I just switch to a quad rail and go around it? Um, go back towards or, the foregrip could, without clipping it. Or I could just go through it if you don't care about clipping. Uh, let me see. Unless you just mean this. Um, can't see it. Yeah, just that straight piece along the bottom. All right, we do that. Um, let's look at our under barrels, like uh, grenade launchers. So 40 is probably going to be the only one that fits appropriately. Yeah, yeah let's try that. Kind of works. Mm -hmm. Get that just. Just flush with the front. No, I'm gonna try to read this is in the rear fire. Like a uh, those rail segments that like comes off ninety degrees to the left. Uh, you mean tilt or shift? Um, just tilt. Me, just try to tell me what you want to do. You put a uh, sight on the left side of the gun, like it's got iron sights on the right right now. Um, trying try to put like a. There is an M203 leaf sight that might actually do the job. Let me see if I can find that. No, it was in the module, modular AR parts somewhere. Here it is. 
Alright, so I need to hurry back on the side. Yeah, we'll blow this clip down. I don't care. Oh, he's actually not quite tall. There we got a leaf sight. Although I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to use this thing. Uh -huh. There's no like front post to aim it at. Hmm. A good question. Not... Well, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I know the Panzerfaust, the front of the warhead, is your front post basically but let's see if there's a M16 with M203 pre-attached we can look at I think on the M16 it's just mounted to the top so you probably line up with your regular front post maybe uh, yeah that's probably right that's probably why that's probably why it's like it's not meant to be attached on the side Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's put one of those little sideways adapters on the the top though. <coughs> we can ditch the leaf side if it's not gonna do us any good. Have it come out of the the left side. And we'll put some kind of big uh, reflex sight so that you have irons on one side and an optic on the other. Yeah, this is a gun that actually has the sights way too far back for a change. Yeah, let's find some kind of weird optic to put on there that will work on the side. Or we could even do side mounted iron sights that are pointed sideways. That'll be a little bit funky. Extra sights. Yeah, I just need to add a small riser here so these match. Mm, it's not quite close, is it? No. Oh, well, I can just do this. There you go, I have a little bit more sight radius there too. Need some cannon sights that can't afford it a little bit. Yeah. There, how about that? I was thinking like a reflex sight or a scope or something. Since you already got irons on the other side. Well, I mean, I don't want to. I don't really want to use these. They're, they're, it's, okay. it's just way too close. If I can keep those cannon sights on there, we can still put a scope there. Uh, 
Um, what kind of scopes we got? Power would be would work here. I can only see like the left side of the screen. Put a two X on it. Yeah, that kind of works. And yeah, it has a circular reticle, so you can't even tell that it's on its side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that works. Then I guess we can do another kind. It's, um, that's my train of thought. Let's say it would pair half decent with the SMG. Seems pretty steady. Yeah, relatively. So let's uh, grab the little most and Obras again. Yeah, I guess we could. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, actually, let's take a look at this. After all. <coughs> Where's it? Oh, it's a magazine, but. You know, I'll just show you how it's not many options for the modular Taz. You get full length stock, full length stock. Or Will it let you put other stock. stocks on it? I uh, don't think. Maybe. I like if you go with the if you go with the folding stock. Um. Well, actually, probably not on that one. Uh, kind of, there's kind of no point in doing that. Hmm. Um, but the most interesting part is you can get a cut down moss and stock on here. That does look pretty neat. And you can also get a real big stendo. Five rounder. Five round. Oh, I guess it's not that big, but an unusual four. Comparatively. I don't know why this this bolt handle is hard to grab on this gun specifically. <laughs> uh, you can't palm that mag either, unfortunately. You also can't eject it with your right hand. Let's see how I can get this to the original. Kinda interesting, it looks like there's no mag release, you just like it's it's built into the mag itself. You just gotta squeeze the tabs on the side. Yeah, at least how it's represented in this game, it does let you eject it with your right hand. Yeah. So I guess this one this one is actually more accurate. Alright, you want to do something funky to this one? Collapse the stock. Oh, uh, ammo type. We should probably do that first. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's, uh, let's grab slugs.
Probably should expand this barrel at least once. Unless you want to keep it short. Um, let's keep it short for now. Let's try the folding stock version. I want to see if it lets you put like a different scope on there or a different stock. Making me hold it from the end point of where the stock it where the stock folds out to. It seems like unintended behavior. So if you collapse the stock, can you put a different stock on there? Well, I mean, I'm in that case, or I'm holding you... it like a foot behind where it actually is. Mm. So this is not going to work. Yeah, we'll discard this, I guess. We'll try the, uh, go back to the Obras. I mean, like the actual, like the chop down. Scope. Yeah. This one has a stand regular AK side rail. Yes. Oh yeah, we gotta see if we can, it'll accept some other stock when we get this folded. So does this version not do the crazy shoulder thing? Yeah, this, this one works correctly. Right. And it looks like it's not gonna take another stock, so we're stuck with the folder. Grab the uh, you know, the big suppressor with the compensator on the end of it. It's the one that I was referring to, but it seems to have upscaled quite a bit more than I <laughs> than I expected it to. I'm I'm fond of the large suppressor, but this one I'm gonna have to call too much. Yeah, I'm sure there's more than one that has a break on the end.
There's gotta be one reasonable size one. <laughs> Let's try that. Um, oh, too small. Yeah, this is probably the best option. The angles are weird. Yeah, it's, um, it looks like our only option, really. Just throw that RM277 smuzzle onto it. One that looks like a oil can. on the bottom row on the left side of one of these pages. Oh, one of the... Okay, there it is. AK rail mount. What did we use on the the uh, I can't even remember what we put it on. What kind of rail mounts? That's, that's a good tall one. Is this one? It's also tall, but yeah, that was, that was a little too bulky. This one's good. This one's, this one's actually tall enough to see over the suppressor. There another. Oh, I'm so catching up. Hang on. There another style that's a similar configuration, or is that it? Maybe one that also has a rail on the side. It is the one that just comes with the game. Hey. That one. We'll do the skeletal one. Like you had, I think I can make that work. What are we gonna put on here? We need, um, let's see, muzzle block sights. Need a large optic with a rail on top. It can be a reflex sight, but just something that is large and has another attachment point. Mm. 
This one has one, this one, has one built in. Think of how I can get a big flashlight on here. We probably won't be able to do it with that one. Ugh. smallest one there is. Yeah, it's looking like it. Figure out how we can do something like the M3 carbine night scope. Let's see if we can get a got a big lamp on top of it. Wait, this uh, night vision scope has a canted rail on it. Hmm. is a useful attachment point, but I feel like the night vision usually doesn't work from what you've tried. Maybe that was thermal that didn't work. Oh, this one actually has a mode to switch between optic and NVG device. I don't know what that actually means, but there is a mode switch option that might be useful. Actually. Can you see through it? I was looking through it while I was switching it, didn't really see me changing anything. Mm hmm. So, uh, I guess it just turns off the reticle. Ah. Uh, guess so. Not useful. I don't know, we can give out night vision another chance. Alright. flashlight on it in case the night vision doesn't work we've got the flashlight maybe we'll take the muzzle off so we can use the the iron sights in conjunction with the light Yeah, it is it is getting very tall. Oh, 
Oh, and it even has a, uh, oh, a, laser a non, and it's got a non-visible mode, it seems. I don't know what strobe does. It strobes, and I guess no, possibly... Like, I don't see, like, turn it on, I don't see anything. It's a flashlight? Yeah. Put, and, uh... My words are barely me. <laughs> turn okay. strobe on and then turn the oh, light I on. Oh, yeah, I guess I do have to have a little light on and strobe. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I see what's happening. I don't know how to explain it to you. There you go. I don't know if it would actually stun the sausages or not, but maybe. Find a lower profile muzzle so you can still have iron sights. First one looks pretty close. It's not quite. You nope. slowly rolling away. I think there was a Maxim manufactured silencer in there. Ooh, um, this, this one might work, because like the bulk of the suppressor is down below. It looks like the top, the front blade is right in line with the top of the suppressor. That seems viable. Let's do that. That's about everything we can strap to this one. Did you knock that one's head off without disturbing its hat? No, I just, just put a pole straight through it. Oh, I see. In the middle. It's like, it looked like his head left, but his hat stayed. Alright, save this one. Yeah. Ugh.
tragically with this M14 that I put a, uh, a Garin scope on, it yeah. actually causes the Garin front sight to appear out on the end of the month. I noticed. It's supposed to be. Like, when you take it off, it disappears. When it, you, when you put it in place to line it up, it's still not there, but when you let go, then it appears. Will that rifle grenade launcher sit on other things? Uh, I doubt it. We can try it. Gotta spawn the ammo for it. Okay, I heard trouble. Let's see. It does. Okay. This is very good to know. Let's... Very good to know. Let's grab that chopped down uh, M2, I think, for it. The Browning machine gun. Down. No, I can't even put this ammo box in any of my <laughs> slots. Is there a smaller box on one of them that you could use instead? Is there a regular M2? M2 mounted. Uh, oh, there's a belt box. Let's see. Let's see what this box yeah. looks. Ah, success. Oh, but this is this compatible? <coughs> there you go. If you'll be able to see just a little bit better. I want. That's a good, okay. The uh, quad rail on the muzzle. That does not fit in there at all. It's like you're just just slapping a toolbox against the side of it. Like, watch, I gotta like put it down, cartridges down, <laughs> flips over to the left. Yes, it clips to the little brain. Alright, so rail muzzle. Yeah. Let's put this in the rail slots. No. Okay. Right. Right. Oh no, it's not taking it. That's a bummer. Well, that does kind of render the entire operation moot. Are there any belt fed uppers in the AR module? Uh, I don't think so. I can look again. Yeah, no. Okay, let's take, um... 
go look for other belt fed LMGs. I was saying, yeah, that was my first thought, and then I was like, what if we put a, what if we put a rifle grenade adapter onto a sidearm so you have a grenade pistol? Yeah, here, here's a, is this another, or is this? It's another, uh, you know. in 1919. This is like a 50 BMG upscaled in 1919, I'm looking at right now. The Stinger was 30 caliber, but it seems like this one might be 50. Yeah, this is using M2 belts. So... Uh, they seem to have thrown like a VAR barrel onto it, kinda. That one was taken, I just missed. There you go, okay, we're in, we're in business. Alright. I have a grenade adapter on the end of that. <laughs> Excellent. Now, looks like the longest um, carry handle type thing. The yeah, G36 ones, maybe. Probably that, yeah. Let's grab one that's just like flat rail across the top. We'll see how that looks sitting on top of the barrel. Mm. Oh, that's real bad. Hey, is that right? Oh, that's really bad. Hey, is that No, I don't think that's what I want. Well, maybe there'd be one that was railed all the way across. Uh, oh, yeah, it's in sights. Scopes. Yeah, it's one of these, I guess. Oh, I can only, can only attach it from the front or from the back. Because <laughs> we'd have to extend it. Um, I'm sure we the front would hook onto it. Sorry, repeat that. That was really helping you'd be able to hook it on there by the, the front instead of having to connect the back of the carry handles. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. only one attachment point for attachments. That didn't quite work. I'm trying to figure out a way to get the most rail coming, you know, back without getting the crazy stair stepping. I mean, there's a pretty big fall off after the for the sights place, so we can stair step a little bit. It won't make a big difference. Yeah, it's just a. Uh... Also, this means that you know you had the rifle with the built-in shotgun and grenade launcher. Now you could also put a rifle grenade launcher onto that. Uh, I could, couldn't I? For, for maximum multi-gun. Learn something new about this game every day. Yes. That's not the worst, I don't guess. No, that's something that's gonna block the iron sight, though. I mean, to the extent that, that actually matters. Um. Yeah, disregard the carry handle.
Oh, hang on a sec. I read something on that. I read something on that Taz informational plaque. I think it said folding sock version can actually be dis detached. That's what I thought. Yes. Yeah, that I had read. Stock detach point. Okay, let's go. Detour. Try this. Oops, hold on. There you go. Oh, wait. Oh, so that's if I just want to take the whole thing off. It doesn't actually take uh -oh. the other part off. Darn. Never mind, back to business. we could throw up there. I'm kind of... Oh, I also just... Re you've got two triggers. <laughs> Since they put it on the M2 and forgot to take the trigger off of that. Well, there's a trigger guard in the back where they removed the trigger from it. Oh, I see. Ooh, one attachment I need to or one attachment mod I need to remember to get is the bolt up visor, which is literally just a trigger that you can put on any rail and you can fire it <laughs> from there. Interesting. So then you can combine that with the uh, AR-15 pistol grip adapter, so then you can actually make it make it actually look like a bolt up modification. Yeah, that does that is kind of clever. I'm not having a brain lapse. My, th my, uh... Just gonna be thrown in this thing. Mm. I guess, well, no. I was gonna say we could re- we could move the sights, but, uh... The sights are- the current sights are unobstructed, basically, so there's no reason to. A relief sign, I guess. Now that you know the grenade is on the muzzle. Yeah, I guess if I could get rails back there, I could do it. Hmm. Let's get creative. Well, it doesn't have to come off the side. Well, I gotta get it off the side to go back around to get it back in line with the front post. If I want it to actually be some... I don't, I don't even know if they'll actually be aimable. But probably not. I imagine the M203 leaf side probably has a different... M203 probably has a different trajectory than this rifle grenade. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think the only grenade launcher you can actually pretend to aim a, a properly is the, <laughs> is the GP25, uh, like the full version, not the rail-mounted version. Because that, yeah. that actually does have sights on it. Yeah. So this is just going to be... Yeah, I guess they're... Aim. There was no reason to put the, the rail segments on the, on there. I have to come up with more rifle grenade adapters idea. Did it go behind you? No, I went for it. I don't know where they land. 
Mm -hmm. So are we gonna do anything with this or just grab it? Um maybe just grab it. There's a little uh must look after. Yo, know, hang on first before I do that. Show you uh, I think there's a, another couple of creations you haven't seen yet. Let me take a look. Look at this. This is a. I approve this. A, a tiny, and uh, set a full auto NTW twenty. And I loaded it with this. A, with explosive rounds. It needs a big, it needs a big giant muzzle. Well, I got, I got the uh, holy muzzle brake on it to make sure that's actually usable. Settings. I don't know why, but this uh, skeletal grip with paracord just uh, felt like it matched. I guess the the, the holy muzzle brake is also yellow. Yeah. It is a neat little but Yeah, grip. you can see it has like an adapter on here to like uh, tilt the bolt handle for you. Oh yeah, like a uh, like a Charlton. Yeah. For all those old uh, bolt to auto conversions. Mm. Yeah, I think that was just it. Hey, go into handguns. I think there's a stamp sheet metal 1911. Man, this thing is hideous. <laughs> it looks like one of the sausage guns. It's the Fallout uh, pistol that we deserve. We didn't get. Do I? Do I have it installed? I know there actually is a Fallout 4 10mm pistol if you want to look at that, but I don't know if I have it installed or not. Do this one, I like it better. Do yeah, the, like uh... It. Probably disable it. Do the, uh, I think Dillinger's 1911 should have a long mag that I assume will also fit in this. Yeah, here we go. Steal that magazine. The uh, rifle grenade adapter. Wow, but, like, that actually like almost like it. See where the curve is and how it like fits. It does. Right there? It's <laughs> almost, it almost looks like it's meant to fit. It was meant to be. Stop. It flies pretty, pretty straight. But, you know, the, the distance is on the little range at least. Is there anything that looks like a grenade launchery? Oh, 
Yeah, AS twenty three would kind of sort of fit with the the with the yeah the cheap and yeah, this might work too. This looks okay, so like this looks like it was thrown together from household materials. I'll go with this one. I approve all out thing. I think I can yeah I can't actually use this stock unless I have a my left hand supporting the gun somewhere oh what about the KS-23 stock no I mean like I the game doesn't allow you to brace uh, stock oh. against you unless you have a unless you have a second hand on the gun forward um. but I mean it is there Get... I'm actually kind of okay at just guessing. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be a pretty, pretty forgiving uh, vector. Yeah, that 200 meter shot is a little bit more difficult. Yeah, but that stands to reason. It is a handgun at that. Well, I don't think that actually makes a difference. use my ammo in here? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it should be a... It doesn't, make, it, doesn't, it doesn't make you switch to blank rounds, but it does take one round out of your mag. Nice touch. Some grenades are shoot through where it can use live ammo with it. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Yeah, that seems, part, that seems kind of dangerous. It works somehow. On that one. Rip. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, can't put that one here. Tragic. <laughs> I wonder if we can only have one stock at a time. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that seems tailored to a gun that is specifically not this one. There for now. Looking for my brain shutting down. Okay. So I'll try to come up with more stuff. Be able to do a few more tomorrow. Okay. GG. See you. This might be too long.
Uplink successful. Target system detected. Take it. I should really get the laundry done tomorrow. Three gauge lol. Uplink successful. Target system detected.
Uplink successful. Target system detected. Take it. Interfacing with system node. This position. Analyzing system. Ouch! 
Things quite the uh, semiotic mess, huh? Oh, 